Let's get things nice and sparkling clear. This socket, if I may call it such, does not become you, my little brothers. As I am your Drugan leader, I'm entitled to know what goes on, eh? <laughs> now then, Dim, what does that great big horsey gape of a grin put in? All right, no more picking on Dim, brother. It's part of a new way. New way? What's this about a new way? It's been some very large talk behind my sleeping back and no error. Well, if you must have it, have it then. If you go around shop cresting and the like, coming out with a pitiful rooker full of money each, <laughs> And as will the English and the muscle man coffee mess, they'll say he can fence anything that any male chick tries to crass. The shiny stuff, the shiny ice. Stuff. The big, big, big money's available, is what will the English say. Big, big money. And what will you do with the big, big, big money? Have you not everything you need? If you need a motor car, you pluck it from the trees. If you need pretty Polly, you take it. Brother, you think and talk sometimes like a little child. A little child, yeah. 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 Like we on a man-sized crest. Tonight's a man-sized crest. Good! Yeah. Real on a show. Yeah. Initiative comes to them as that way. I've taught you much, my little droogies. Now tell me what you had in mind, Georgie boy. As we walked along the flat block marina, I was calm on the outside, but thinking all the time. So now it was to be Georgie the General, saying what we should do and what not to do, and dim as his mindless, grinning bulldog. But suddenly I vided that thinking was for the gloopy ones, and that the only ones used like inspiration and what bog sense. For now it was lovely music that came to my aid. There was a window open with a stereo on, and I vidded right at once what to do. <laughs> <laughs>